Good morning, everyone. I'd like to start by saying that this is a terrible and deeply distressing tragedy in which three young children have lost their lives. Our thoughts are very much with the children's loved ones who are going through a horrendous ordeal. We were first called by a member of the public who was concerned for the welfare of the occupants of an address early on Sunday the 18th of February. Officers arrived at 12.40 a.m. and found three children whose lives could not be saved. Forensic post-mortem examinations will now be carried out on the children to establish the cause of death. And it's important that we don't give out any further detail on this until the proper processes have been carried out. The post-mortem examinations are not likely to be completed until the middle to the end of this week at the earliest. Formal identification has not yet taken place, but we believe the victims are a boy aged seven, a girl of three, and a 10 month old boy. Their next of kin have been informed and are being given all in the help and support that they need by specialist family liaison officers. A 42 year old woman was arrested at the scene and was taken to hospital due to injuries that she had sustained. Her condition is not life threatening and she remains in police custody at this time. Uniformed officers from the neighbourhood policing team will be in the local area in the coming days to provide reassurance and support to the local community who we urge to come and speak to us if they have any concerns or worries. It's important to stress that we are treating this as an isolated incident and we don't believe there to be any ongoing risk for the wider community. We've been humbled by the community response to this tragedy. At a time of great sadness and disbelief, we've seen spontaneous acts of care and support. Within hours of the incident occurring, a local church opened up for people to gather and mourn. This is what being in a community is all about, and we'd like to thank all of those who continue to offer this important and selfless service. The death of such young children is a great shock to the whole community, and I know that this incident has had a profound and deep impact on all of us in the police. We'll be making sure that all of those involved in the response and the subsequent investigation are given any welfare support that they may need. I know that people will be eager to have answers, but the major crime investigation team are in the very early stages of what will be a highly sensitive, complex and thorough investigation, and it will take time to establish all of the facts. We anticipate the need to carry out further inquiries at the scene for the rest of the week and there will be cordons in place to allow us to do this. As is usual in the circumstances where there's been prior police contact, we have notified the Independent Office for Police Conduct and a mandatory formal referral will be made today. We'll provide any updates when we can.